Mortal Kombat 12 has finally been revealed. Never mind, it's not going to be Mortal Kombat 12 as we thought it was going to be. NRS went ahead and decided to name it Mortal Kombat 1. Back to the beginning and a new era. So much to talk about when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1 from story hints to gameplay. So let's go ahead and get started. Mortal Kombat 1 got revealed May 18th with an epic trailer showing Liu Kang's MK11 aftermath ending is canon. Everything seems to be fine with Kung Lao being Fire God Liu Kang's champion and Raiden being human. Melina and Katana are actually sisters. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are brothers and not rivals anymore. Everyone comes to stop when an eclipse starts to form. Out of nowhere, a crimson portal appears in front of Fire God Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Raiden, oh, and Raiden. The man, the myth, the legend, Shang Tsung himself, steps out of the portal. Shang Tsung just starts making a kill montage out of most of the fighters revealed during this trailer, but Fire God Liu Kang is the one that puts a stop to Shang Tsung's killing spree by hitting him with a fatality. Fire God Liu Kang definitely isn't playing around when it comes to people defying the peace that he's created in his reimagined reality. Later on, we got a gameplay reveal trailer during Summer Game Fest on June 8th, showing off some of the story mode matches. So, the gameplay trailer shows off a lot of what's going to be expected from the game and a taste of what's going to happen in the story mode. Also, a lot of content creators were able to get their hands on the game for about like what 30 minutes to an hour. So, we have a returning mechanic but revamped from MKX and MK11 with assist fighters, whereas MK1 calls them cameo fighters. In MKX and MK11, they were match modifiers you're going to use in like you know the little towers that you'd play, and it was only one power from an MK character. They had a cool down and all they were were just modifiers. What MK1 is doing is making these cameo fighters into full fledged assist characters. They'll be similar to how you know Marvel's Capcom assist work but with two more moves and a throw. Also we have the MK9 super bar back which is nice. The cameo fighters are also your breaker instead of your main fighter. Cameo fighters also have a cooldown, but the cooldown is fast enough where it looks like you can use them twice within a single combo. The cameo fighters also have their own fatalities and team up with your main fighter in fatal blows. I know the MK community are, you know, mixed about cameo fighters, but I think it'll just be a learning process for everyone since we are not used to having an assist to be the main focus of gameplay. Sure, I know people would rather just have tag team bet, but you already know that man Ed Boon always talked about how it was the least played mode in MK9. It's unfortunate that NRS might not even revisit that mode, but that's a topic for another video. I mentioned that the super bar from MK9 is basically back. Breakers cause uh, free bars to use them. Enhanced moves function like they did in MK9, where if you hit the R2 or right bumper button at the same time, uh, the special move will be enhanced, which is nice since in MK11, you had to guess if your opponent was going to enhance the normal special move after doing it. Sometimes doing the enhanced special move after doing it was uh, safer than just doing a normal special move. The one thing that has been confirmed is if the main character misses their hit for the uh, fatal blow, can the cameo fighter still hit you or does the cameo fighter um, not come out if you miss? I guess we'll find out later on. Combos are an important part of, you know, Mortal Kombat, and they're changing it up a bit in MK1. The run button doesn't return, which I know a lot of people wanted back in, you know, MKX. It definitely made um, the game feel a whole lot faster. But uh, instead of running, we do have the 3D error air combos. In addition to the air combos returning, we have the return of normal pop-up moves. And with that coming back, these combos are going to be saucy. We've seen that fire can use a, a pop-up move into like an air combo. And then the air, you can hit the person down and they're still popped up. And you can use an extender via the cameo fighter and then a jump attack. Then in certain scenarios, you can still get a few moves into an ender. 
MK11 had its moments and people did their best to make comps look nice, but this game's gonna blow MK11 away. So far we've gotten a brief glimpse into what the story mode would contain. Fire Guy Luke Kane is recruiting warriors for something, I'll just assume maybe a tournament of some sort. We know Shang Tsung loves to have a tournament for his boy Shao Kahn, but we don't even know if Shao Kahn exists and why there might be a tournament going on in this timeline. Who knows, to be honest. And like I said before, um, Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers and are part of Lin Kuei, and Melina and Katana are sisters. I think Melina is supposed to be the ruler of Outworld, and Katana is her bodyguard. And then Kenshi looks like he's part of a gang, maybe the Black Dragon, um, according to the intro between him and Fire God Liu Kang. Uh, Johnny Cage, he possesses uh, Sento, which is Kenshi's blade. And Johnny Cage seemed like he'll be the same person as he was in the last timeline. Like I said in the beginning of the video, Raiden is human and Kung Lao is Fire God Liu Kang's champion. Fire God Liu Kang is obviously the creator of this realm and protector of Earth Realm. And as for Shang Tsung, there's been many theories on him, like him being like Liu Kang from a different timeline or Shang Tsung is from his aftermath ending trying to corrupt the new timeline Fire God Liu Kang created I would go more in depth on the new takes of certain characters but I think I would want to make a series after the game comes out because things are looking like they're going to be insane and I would rather just give my full opinion when I know exactly who those characters are like I said when the game comes out so, with those brief mentions of the characters, what's that roster looking like? From the looks of it, we're going to have 24 fighters on the base roster and 24 cameo ca characters for their base roster. The characters confirmed for the main fighters roster are Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Kung Lao, Fire God Liu Kang, Katana, Melina, Kenshi, uh, Shang Tsung, and Johnny Cage. And the characters confirmed for the cameo fighters are uh, Jax, Sonya, Kano, uh, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Striker, Goro, and Kung Lao. Forgot to mention that the main roster fighters can be cameo fighters also, but the cameo fighters can't be on the main roster. Might do a video talking about the fighters I'd like to see on the main roster and the cameo fighters, but that'll be for a different day. Mortal Kombat 1 looks like it's going to be a good game with returning and modified mechanics new takes on our favorite fighters and as for the story we can just only speculate what's going to happen the roster has been confirmed by ed boon himself that every era of mk will be represented that's a relief because a lot of the community wants more 3d era representation on the roster and that was always my problem with nrs era of mk games they have all these characters they can improve upon and explore but they choose not to and i don't understand why anyways thank you guys for watching if you liked the video hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more mortal kombat 1 content and there's a lot of interviews that ed boone and the different um, developers have done during, you know, Summerfest, and I haven't watched them all. But if something comes up, I'll talk about it. Well, until next time, you guys, see you guys later, and the heat is on.